Okay, welcome back to the channel, my people. Another beautiful day here in sunny South Florida. Hope everyone's having a real nice day. Hope you saw yesterday's video. Wow, that Silverado was so cool. We are checking a Hobby Lobby now. Check out this new 73 Chevy Cheyenne Super 10. Uh, wow, the one that we built actually it like seems nicer i don't know man i don't love it i don't love it did was ours an open bed do you guys remember from yesterday's video but yeah food theme uh 22 000 pieces made holy cow holy cow I'm, i don't even know there's not even room for these honestly there's not there is sanat but yeah i just made some i just made some room so we'll put those right there for the people they'll, they'll probably be here a little while i don't know you, you gotta really like mr foos to buy that stuff it was funny uh, in our last hobby lobby visit i saw like some texaco thing i really thought they were like a dark shade of green i guess i guess they were black oh well oh check it out little volkswagen thing type 181 not too shabby and a ford thunderbird convertible from the black bandit collection i do like those i do like those Ser i like that series a lot uh what is this chevy impala sport coupe man it's like all of them are red right like well not that one obviously Ooh, racing champions oh these are definitely a newer item well i've seen them before i think i may have even bought this or no we didn't get it because the the car was like damaged or something i do remember seeing it the impala ss409 oof, which was a different color and the dragster oh we got some mail we got some mail oh wow i can't wait to show you what we got in the mail i haven't opened it yet we're gonna do it together but it's very exciting oh what do we got here cadillac sedan that's pretty nice i don't know it's okay. I like the lowrider versions better. Dodge D100. So some new stuff, some new some new items. Dude, what's up with Johnny Lightning? Where'd you guys go? I haven't seen anything new from Johnny Lightning come in in a while, man. I know the two packs should be showing up somewhere. Some hobby exclusives. Ooh, hey there, Daytona. We've seen those all before. Mustangs are still here. Wow, man, that's crazy. It's kind of expensive, honestly. 13 bucks. Ooh, speaking of Johnny Lightning, I guess they do have some stuff. Here's the tins. Wow, it's such a great Corvette. That's a beautiful car, man. It looks so good. I really like this tin. Would love to see what the chase looks like. Probably just has like a, a white T-top or something. And the black version. Let's see. Oh, centen, 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 centennial? Centennial. Centennial edition. Yes, 2012. That one's a 2012. Weird. So release one, release one, version A, version B. I guess they're different. I guess, yeah, I don't think they're actually the same the same car i don't know i can't tell the old poncho pontiac here man i know they do have a chase of this i think it's the other color yeah i think it's this one and like maybe the wheel is white and the and the t-top is white they're so tricky these tins Ooh, this one this one this one took a hit oh check it out yellowstone fans we have the <laughs> the Dodge Charger. This was uh, driven by a character that is no longer on the show. I don't want to ruin it for you, but uh, anyway, he was a good character until C28 from from Lost. I never watched this. I never watched Lost. What is it even about? Uh, County cars. Oh, another Yellowstone. That's cool. There's the truck, dude. They've been doing these uh, in a few different series. There was uh, a Yellowstone truck that we saw at the Hobby Lobby also. But gosh, oh, it's oh, it's so weird there. Something's wrong with the package, dude. It's like paper thin right there. You hear that? Wow, that's weird. What a cool truck. Is the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, that's John Dutton's truck right there. Dude, I heard he's leaving the show. I heard Kevin Costner is out. He is done. This will be his last season. Uh, I guess Taylor Sheridan, the guy who makes the show or made the show, is not happy about it. Like, they are beefing over him deciding to leave the show. Yep, same, same of these thingamajigs. We got the Pontiacs. And one, two, three, four. yeah, that's crazy. Just not that popular. I mean, the reds look great. I love the way the ultra red looked. So I was looking on the, the Lionel site for the NASCAR Authentics, and I don't think this one has a sticker either, but it's supposed to be really easy to see. I mean, of course we have two of them here. Uh, and I, and I, I don't remember, I, I couldn't, re 
I did try to look for like the black or the white or some type of indicator for the body color and I wasn't able to see anything. These are both blue under there, I guess. I, I don't think they're it. I don't think they're Somebody the said I left a chase. Like I was trying to show the the Monster Jam, like the, the chases and whatnot. Uh, I, I don't know. Here's another son of a digger. Was it the blue one maybe? I thought there was two of them though. I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm not in. Yeah, see, there's another one there. There's another grave digger there. I think it was the son of a digger. It was like, a, it was like a, I don't remember. You guys, you guys left it in the comments. I should have made a note. I should have took a screenshot, dude. But it, grave digger with white wheels. Yeah, white wheels again. It's all good. I, I'm not really a big monster truck fan, so I would rather leave it for somebody that actually collects them. Okay, next up on our Diecast 2023 fun train is another Hobbit Lobby. Oh yeah, these are still here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see an orange lowrider. The Caprice. Oh, another lowrider too, wow. The 63 Impala SS. Man, these are so great. We did find this in the Garini. What else are we got? The Camaro, the Nova still here. And this in, oh, Pawn Stars Camaro in green. And there's a Bronco here. Uh, yeah, that's not a chase, by the way. That's the color that it comes. Don't get confused. It's not one of the body color chases. Don't get confused. The Dodge is still here. The that wagon, right, right, right. Uh, let's see, police, ram, uh, Corvette, what? Those are green, right? Are they black or green? Come on now, I'm, I'm so tired of this. I, I'm so tired of, oh, maybe, dude. No way. Dude, it's green, it's green. Dude, we just got a green light chase of a C8 2022 Corvette in yellow. Yellow and green looks good to me. The card is okay. No smashy smashy. Wow. Dude, that's that's cool, man. I need to get some light on there. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll take it outside. We'll use the South Florida sun. Okay, I have the light. I have the light. Yeah, come on, right? Yeah, for show, for show, for show. That's so cool. Oh, a new little Datsun, little Hustler. I have a couple of these uh, trucks. What else, what else from the M2 machines? How cool was the Silverado though? That was so cool that we built the model kit. I'm definitely into the model kits. Yep, I love the color of that. Uh, the orange Caprice is great. Uh, I already have some though. Oh, I accidentally put this, this Camaro Z28 here. Why does it have like all the racing stuff, but there's nothing on the card art? Um, Tony Pitsy Automotive. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's just the way it comes, probably. If not, whatever. I'm done guessing. Leave it for somebody. Leave it for somebody else. Mm, I am tempted. Oh, it's smashed up. Okay, that answers that. Even though I did want to open one of these, I did, I did, I did, and I do. Is this the one? Should we just crack one of these? I've real, we've never opened a green light collectible and what better than a California lowrider? Yeah, let's do it, dude. Let's grab it, we'll crack it. I, I bought one to open before and then I started to move. We got a green light chase, I'm so excited. Here's the Texaco thing. I thought the wheels were green. I did, they kind of have a, a, I don't know. It's, it looks a little green, obviously. It's not that green like that, but I don't know, for, for my eyeballs, whatever, man. People with blue eyes, like I said, they're missing either a half of a cone or an entire cone, and uh, it's just it's just normal for people with blue eyes. So like my trouble, sometimes green looks red. Uh, I guess sometimes black looks green. I don't, I don't know. I'm just thinking so hard now, you know? It's like such a guessing game with these darn things. All right, I guess that's it. That is it, my people. I don't see anything. Oh, that's cool. Fun Unified School District. I remember seeing those at the Wally. Those things sell fast at the Walmart, honestly. They must have quite a following because they do sell fast. Okay, uh, South Florida Sun, what do you got for us? Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Wow, look at the green, that's so cool. It's definitely hard to see on the black, especially in the store too, but out here with that sunshine, Awesome, man. Very, very cool find. It's pretty cool, the, the C8. It's John Deere themed, right? Yellow and green. 
get it. All right, I just stopped by a Target. I haven't seen this in a long time, but they do make full haulers. I'm pretty sure the car is in there. I could be wrong. And they could have chases. I, I honestly don't remember. I did see these uh, on the website when I was looking up the, the other Tootsies, right? <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, look, their, their graphics still doesn't show any indicator of like white or black on the on the back there you see it you know what i'm talking about the lonely off-road camaro the last to go all the time how this funny cool 124 let's check her out an rx3 with one punch man his name is saitama i didn't know that 1974 mazda rx3 wow it looks great Looks pretty cool, One Punch Man. He, he's so bored with life, he hates life because like nobody could nobody could challenge him, dude. He's, he's not challenged, you have to challenge yourself in life to have a good one. And these white card deals, they just don't stop showing up. They made 5,000 cases, I'm telling you. Matchbox is on a different level this year. And now for everyone's favorite segment in the Florida Man videos, it's show and tell with the Florida Man. We did get some mail. Yes, our RLC membership car number one of two has arrived. I did get two having two accounts. Uh, and man, I am so excited to see this. The box came with tape. They redid the label like it has the old address forwarding to the new address so we know for sure that our mail forwarding is working. I can't wait to get the next one. The shipping notifications did come uh, separately like this one came uh, and then the other one was like a day later. So I guess they're just probably a little bit behind with the, with the second box. So I'm sure we will see it soon. We also have another box uh, from a community member that sent us something really cool. I can't wait to show you. I haven't seen it yet. I, I want to open it. I just haven't had a ton of time. I had to pick up Hero today. He's sitting right now over here. If you saw my Instagram story, he was on the food time, but now he's on the new gray rug and it looks like he loves it. Uh, uh, he's just, he's just like face deep in this, in this, uh, that gray rug that you saw in yesterday's video when I showed the painting. Air pillows, your whatnot orders went out yesterday. Okay, so everybody who got something from the Whatnot Show, thank you so much. I really appreciate you, and they're on the way. Some of you got air pillows, some of you didn't. But like the international sales, I, I did make sure to put some air pillows and uh, make sure everything's real safe. Redline Club 2023 patch. Looks like an iron-on. I could see a little gloss back here. Very cool. We do have a second one coming, so maybe we'll do something with this. Stick it on the hat. Huh? Rodnock Spec Redline Club something, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't seem to fit anywhere. All good. But here it is, man. Wow. The club exclusive 1993 Ford Mustang Cobra R. It says club exclusive right here. Very, very cool. You could see straight through it. I could see both sides. We also get a cool Mattel pin. Oh, oh, it has the Mustang on it. Wow, the Ford Mustang is right on the is on the Mattel pin too. That's awesome, man. Wow, very cool, very cool. Let's check it out. Let's break a rope in here. Break a rope in. Yep, there it is. The club exclusive Ford Mustang Fox body. Foxy Diecast, did you get one, dude? I wonder if you got one, man. You are a big Mustang dude. Obviously, Foxy Diecast. Foxy stands for Fox body because uh, he has two of them in real life. Very cool. There is a scan to play something right here. Go ahead, knock yourselves out, screenshot it, do whatever. Whoever gets it, gets it. I don't know what you win, but let me know in the comments if it's good. Uh, so there you go. You guys can you guys can do that. Ford first used the Cobra name with the Mustang in the 1970s, but it wasn't until 93 when Ford's SVT brought it back with a vengeance. Then came the Ford Mustang Cobra R. So very limited car. Like, they did not make a ton of these, the Cobra R. Somebody even looked up, like, how many, and, and it was, like, what, like, a thousand or something. It was a very low IRL production number. So uh, very happy to have this. As a RLC member, I think this is my fourth year. Hero's eating food over there. He's over there chomping some food. See? Dude, eating, drinking, playing, purring. He's good to go. I was so nervous about the move with him. So nervous. You have no idea. 
Uh, I just want him to be happy. You know, he's a good cat. He's a good cat, and he doesn't seem to smell noche. I, I haven't like I obviously cleaned the the junk out of this place. I cleaned the junk out of this place before uh, having you know after noche left. Um, because we know Noche may not have been in the best health. Uh, but I think Hero's fine, man. I think he's fine. I did get a flea dropper thingy to put down the back of his neck just to be safe, just in case there is anything in here. But, I, dude, I use citrus cleaners and all the stuff you're supposed to do. Um, but, again, I, I also did comb Noche with a flea comb before uh, bringing him in. So And, I, 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 I mean, one thing fell off of him, and I killed it right away. So... I don't know that it was a flea, though. It was pretty big, whatever it was. So Anyway, that's very cool. We also have our Chevrolet Corvette C8 Green Light Chase. I'm sure the wheels are being replaced by the green screen editing, but, hey, that happens. Well, good. And, uh, of course, not the base, but what a cool C8, man. We got the John Deere Yellow and Green Edition. Oh, it tells you all the rest of the... Wow. Dude, there's a window sticker back there. I never noticed that. I never turned one of these over. Showroom Floor Series. 2022 Corvette Stingray Convertible 3LT. 8-speed dual-clutch trans. Wow, there's so much data. Oh, here's the price. 90... Oh. Oh, so it's normally 80 grand, but this, having all the options, being the Stingray... Ninety-eight thousand dollars. Holy cow! Nineteen miles per gallon. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nineteen miles per gallon. Sixteen city highway twenty-four. I had no idea the window stickers were back there. That's so cool. What a great little diecast. I'm very happy to have that. We also have the 1963 California Lowrider Chevy Impala. I do want to open this, not today in this video, I don't have time, but we will do it soon. Uh, again, we have mail to open from, from another community member, so there's a lot of stuff we're going to be able to check out and, and mess around with. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video with uh, doing the model kit. We opened the model kit Silverado. Really cool truck. Absolutely love it. We did the chrome wheel with the Goodyear tires, and it looks awesome. I really, really like it. So, uh, very cool, very cool, very, very cool. And we got new Fast and F the, well, and we got the old Fast and Furious cars, which is awesome too. So, so thank you so much for watching today's video, my people. I will see you in the next one.